Max, how you doing? You're right, right. Hey, yeah. mate, you're all right. So, so going to check everything's yeah. fitting as it should do. Yeah. And then uh, get you up. Cool. Get you it. Is that all right? Yeah, definitely. Fit though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know they're great. These, these, they're, they're awesome. Um, yeah, it's just a case of getting used to um, to standing on them again. And uh, yeah, so you try them sort of once or twice. And yeah, a lot, lot of fitting appointments, but then we, we went running on them previously, so it's hopefully feels very similar. Oh, just in case. <laughs> It works. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Big steps is back goes faster. Yeah. Big no, it does. Increase. It does. Okay. Cycling, I'm not too bad at, and then kind of runnings where I've never really been able to run on on kind of you know road running really or any anything like that because of the the pressure on the left leg. Also the right's difficult, so treadmills and that are kind of iffy. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping that get onto these. And then I wouldn't mind training for a while, and then, as I said, maybe trying to do like a little mini triathlon would be would be pretty awesome. I like it, though. Quite a little worried about the tuck and roll. Okay. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. First, that then was the first time I've like tried to speed up a bit on them. Yeah. I was literally just been, but to me, even the jog is far. It feels really fast. Yeah. Because I'm just not used to running that quick. Well, you don't have to go fast to begin with. Are no. you thinking like a bit of a, a catch the 5k esque? That sort of, yeah, yeah that's the sort of thing, you. yeah. That's the sort of thing. I think the, the reality is running inside is not someone, something people typically do, and it's a very flat surface where we know it's going to be flat and, flat and even. So, with the, uh, the different weather conditions, bit of wind, bit of cold, and then just an un uneven surface, whether that's tarmac or grass or whatever. It's quite a different thing to, to get used to and, and experience. So we're going to start yeah. with like 20 strides on, 20 strides off. We're going to yeah. run for 20, yeah. then walk for 20, and then see how that feels. Right. Yeah, nice. And then small steps, small steps. Lovely. Oh. How does it do with the flicking inside and out? Is it still coming in a bit? It does still come in a bit. Is that normal? It is normal. And as long as it's only flicking in the air and you're not getting a twist when you hit the ground, yeah. it's fine. Okay. If you're an Olympic athlete and we were looking at marginal 1% gains, yeah. then yes, it would make a difference. Okay, well. For now, for now we're we'll okay. But the Paralympic dream is long gone. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But as I said, that was just a jog, but that's quicker than... If you watch me jog with the prosthetic on down there, yeah. compared to jogging on these, it's not even the same. It feels like running and I'm only jogging. Oh, they're good. I love them. They're like the fit feels good. I'll be intrigued to see. I don't feel like I'm going to have any marks. Yeah. Uh, I think you're enough. good enough to take mine. You can start cool. working towards running now. Okay. But if you did this regularly, you did this three times a week, so you Yeah. Okay. And then Thank you. There is. I do feel it a bit on the shin, on the on the left. Okay. I think when we take it off, I'll be. I am feeling it a bit. The more I've done on them, that feels like where there's a pressure point. Yeah. Does that look less flicky than it feels? Yeah. Left is slightly pointing out yeah. from general. Left actually isn't flicking. Left is just yeah. pointing out. But I think that's because I'm nervous of the them touching because yeah. I know that this one's coming in. Yeah. So I think I'm self-conscious, I'm leaving my left leg. They're actually leg. way off. Yeah, they are, yeah, they're nowhere near. So we're just going to go to the workshop. Uh, we should probably use a Dremel or a router. Uh, just this area here is causing a bit of pressure onto Alex's shin. So if we just take a little bit of a void, hopefully we can take that peak pressure down. And that little bit of discomfort he's having will hopefully disappear.
is it easy flowing out the front? Because you're going to put pressure through as you're landing. Yeah. So actually, it's not coming away. So it's spot on. Perfect. Fuck how confident just going out there on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, <laughs> you just see how confident you suddenly like look, just get yeah. up and go like, let's do this. So, so it's been really, it's been a lot of kind of, yeah, trying there, a lot of, lot of visits um, but I think we've we're getting there um, Nick you've got the the original test yeah, so you? obviously as Alex has said it's it was quite a challenge with that side something that's not been done with himself before so Alex's sort of foot shape leads to problems and challenges um, with the bend in his in his leg as he was saying and um, the forces just move in different ways to what we would normally expect so uh, what we did, so obviously having a blade on one side and then if you were to do sort of a high activity AFO we'd still have quite a significant leg leg difference to sort of deal with and we'd still most probably be trying to, the left side would still be trying to catch up. Um, so we thought well let's give it a go with double blades and, and see where we go. So the process sort of started with a couple of test pieces uh, in just AFOs, clamshelling them, uh, getting the padding in the right place, trying to get all the alignment right. Um, which was challenging at times because as soon as you change one thing one side it changes things the other side uh, and we encountered a few problems but we seem to have problem solved most of those now um, so we went from having sort of plastic volume check test piece to get the alignment moved on to a, a more solid carbon fiber resin acrylic type uh, AFO as a test and then through what we've been doing today we, as you can see uh, we've got two definitives that uh, Alex is up and running independently on Nice uh, embroidery. Yeah, it's lovely. It's like, I don't get it wrong, it's clearly a functional bag. But it does look like, to be honest with you, I'm about to stick a body in it. Rather than cutting the bag. Are you going now, Alex? I am. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Thank you very much. So yeah, it's been like a, yeah, a year and a bit in kind of development uh, for me to get these blades today. So, kind of there. Moose, Nick and Beth and everyone, they've all done their bit, so it's now just on me to uh, yeah, make the most of them, get out and get fit and hopefully not fall over. <laughs> Cheers.